As each year passes, the days spent skiing with old buddies are cherished more and more. For this group of longtime freestyle skiing friends, Monashi Powder Snowcats in British Columbia was to be their playground for the next three days. When we showed up, it had just stopped snowing. I don't know how much snow they got. It felt like a meter and it uh, just was bottomless the first day. That's what a skier dreams about, right? And it was just so fun. I'm skiing with people I haven't skied with in 30 years. And they're some of my best friends from, from 30 years ago, growing up doing freestyle skiing in Killington. And now here we are 50 years old and ripping up the backcountry in British Columbia. And there's just nothing better than that. Sharing that with really close friends. Well, it's great. I mean, as uh, you know, sort of the younger guy as far as uh, the old days of hot dogging, and to come here and, and, and really meet and get to know the, the, the guys better that uh, you know I grew up watching skiing and watching on TV, and uh, you know I learned a lot from them in freestyle skiing, and now I'm skiing powder with all that you know that whole crew here. So it's just a cool experience. So you know, all the old stories are true. You know? <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's just nonstop laughing, and uh, I mean, the cat rides are just amazing, and, and that's what cat skiing is all about. Is, you know, we have these great killer runs, then we all joke around on the cat and have our lunch on the way back up. It's just, just a ball. The lodge here at Monashi is, is just really comfortable. It's just like a family atmosphere. Uh, the food is great. It's just, just a great experience. A good buddy of ours, Witt, showed up, and uh, he'd had no clue a bunch of buddies of his are coming that he hadn't seen in years and years and years. And, uh, I was a little, uh, I just woke up, put it this way. I step out of the car and there's, there's Trace and Fuzz. I was totally blown away. No, no clue, and I, 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 I was in shock. It was more of a shock thing than anything else. It's amazing, we, we all, you know, we grow older. It's 25 years since I've skied to these guys. And just to have them up here skiing with yourself, Trace, Fuzz, Lynn Wyland, all these people I've skied with for years on the US ski team, it's, it's just a treat. It's funny because you watch the last 20 years of ski films and, you know, it's all, all these guys are so talented and, you know, a lot of the cool moves they're doing, I, it's hard to even kind of get into that category of what the guys are doing now. So figured, go back to what I know best and kick out some old school tricks is the way to go. <laughs> and then everyone said, oh, maybe, maybe we should uh, go through the list of old school tricks. And then uh, Fuzz did a big spread eagle and, and then Bob did a big old Cossack and then I did a big splitster. And, it's just fun because it's different. Everyone's so used to seeing these are like really cool tight shots and, and uh, in this type of, you know, in these conditions when you don't expect somebody to kick out a big, huge Cossack. <laughs> Absolutely, seeing uh, John Witt and Lynn Weiland here. Um, of course, I see Trace all the time in Park City, but um, to see those guys and start telling the old freestyle stories was just uh, a little bit crazy. So we're up here skiing at Monashi Powder. Well, actually, we weren't even here yet. We were in the parking lot where you get the cat to come up to the lodge. And here's this like hot stud guy with like this long hair and he's like on his sled. And I'm like, who's that? And Bob said, Dave Treadway. I'm like, you mean like one of those, one of the three Treadway brothers? Yeah, him. And he's been skiing with us for three days and he is such a sweetheart. Yeah, I'm uh, the baby of brothers and both my older brothers really push it at every envelope of activities and so for me it was uh, always trying to catch up to what they're doing. Uh, skiing light dry powder like we have here it's effortless. You're just floating down the mountain in this effortless form. Well he's just a class act and what a talent you know just you know skiing with somebody that ability it just gets you really fired up. Dave Treadway did something on skis yesterday I've never witnessed in person and he threw this big old back layout off of like a 40 foot cliff in the middle of the backcountry. I'm like, really? 
Okay. Humbled. Uh, this trip was, I think, is surreal. This trip was surreal for sure. Um, just the overall experience, it's 50 times better than I ever thought it was going to be. Just an un unbelievable trip, definitely. And it's just a much more social experience, I think. And these guys, Tom and Carolyn, they have it nailed. They've got the best terrain, the best accommodations, the best cats, the guides are awesome. I'd come back here any day. Is it like 30 years has gone by? No, it's like it was yesterday, um, except now we all kind of have our crap together. <laughs> Free Ride Chronicles brought to you by Rosignol. Every inch, every minute, every second, we chip away at finding inspiration to reimagine luxury making the colors of earth and sunset skies into rich interior accents, or putting the beauty of a forest in the palm of your hands. It will take you to another place, wherever you happen to be. Made with pride, crafted with passion. This is the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is the best of what we're made of. Authentic mountain-inspired ski wear that embraces the spirit of skiing. Obermeyer, designing winter outerwear for skiing enthusiasts for over 60 years. Designed and tested in Aspen, Colorado. Free Ride Chronicles, brought to you by Jeep. Johnny Witt. If he would just be quiet for once, I'd really appreciate it. But it, it's like a chattering chipmunk constantly talking all day long. Top of the world at RK, baby. Doesn't get any better than this. Really? Look at that. When you, when you hit RK, one of the things you hope to do is be able to hit the glacier. And the light was right and the snow was great. You just can't ask for much more than it's kind of what you think about when you think about heli skiing is getting up on a glacier, looking down over a huge open powder field and having a deep blower with a little sun on it. For first time heli boarder, Dash Camp had an eye opening experience at RK Heli. I did not sleep very well. I was just too excited to ride the next day. With over 100 drop zones in the 370,000 acres, Dash didn't have much of a problem enjoying this new playground. Yeah, got out of the bird. The blades were just spinning so loud. The craziest feeling, you saw the bird just take off, and all of a sudden you were just stuck on this mountain range. All these mountains around you, know, it was just the craziest sight to see. And then sure enough, we went right down it. I was hooting and hollering all the way down. Rod's run that is just a blast. There's pillow drops and booters and deep snow and it was just, you couldn't fail. I guess you would call it hero snow Ooh, there. Yo. RK Heli Skiing just has huge tenure and we got out into the glacier. It was just beautiful. Well, anytime you get up high when you're up heli skiing, it's just an added bonus. Uh, it's just gorgeous. If the light comes out, you know, it feels like you're on top of the world, so it's beautiful. RK Heli is based out of Panorama Ski Resort, so there's plenty of dining and lodging choices in the village. Panorama Mountain Village is truly unique and differentiated. It's one of the few resorts in North America, if not the world, that has the integration of an incredible alpine ski area with a helicopter skiing operation right in the heart of the village. We've got a combination of condo hotel, townhome, and single family homes. And the beauty of the resort is, is once you've gotten here, you just park your car and forget about it. We so what we offer here is over 4,000 vertical feet of skiing with the opportunity for people to get their legs in advance of their heli skiing experience. And then in order to go heli skiing, you just simply walk you know, a few hundred meters over to the heliplex here and you're on your way into an incredible experience in British Columbia. Our clientele do come from all over the world and we can cater to all types of skiers. So anywhere from intermediate skiers, first time heli skiers to uh, the experts that want to challenge themselves on the big open slopes. Here in the Purcells, we're 
blessed with a lot of dry snow, high altitude glaciers, big open alpine bowls, and some great tree skiing when it's weather like this. The type of packages we offer here at RK, uh, anything from uh, day packages of three and five runs, where that's all a customer is buying as the skiing, to all the way to the full meal deal, where it's a private exclusive group, exclusive use of the helicopter, with uh, high-end lodging included. So that's the beauty here at RK is everything can be custom. We can uh, cater it to a customer's needs and wishes and try and make everybody's dream come true. And just like on any dream vacation, bring your camera because you're going to want to capture all the epic moments. Just make sure you don't leave your GoPro unattended around a certain RK guide that I won't mention, Nate. Nate made us feel right at home. He's our first day guide. And you know, coming from me, I've never done this before. And Nate really made me feel right at home. And for Dash, I think he hit one out of the park on his first heli experience. I think these trips are so special because you get some of the best skiing in the world and you get to do it with your friends. It makes memories that, that you'll never forget. It makes memories that you can tell your children about and that your kids look forward to experiencing later in life. Free Ride Chronicles brought to you by Obermeyer. Every inch, every minute, every second, we chip away at finding inspiration to reimagine luxury, making the colors of earth and sunset skies into rich interior accents, or putting the beauty of a forest in the palm of your hands. It will take you to another place, wherever you happen to be. Made with pride, crafted with passion. This is the new 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It is the best of what we're made of. Free Ride Chronicles brought to you by Swanee Gloves. I heli skied uh, three years ago, and I, I made a promise to myself. I loved it so much, I'm going to do it every year till I die. here in search of snow and uh, it feels like we just entered a snow globe where the snow has just been following us everywhere we go. We're here at Revelstoke, Selkirk, Tangiers and what an experience. Um, it's been snowing ever since we've gotten here. We're skiing, you know, backcountry, just beautiful pillows and it's just deep. Revelstoke is just, it's like a, a mecca for great skiers. So every time we come here we get to ski with phenomenal skiers. Izzy Lynch is skiing with us. What an honor. She is just a class act. Uh, she makes everything look so easy and you can really see why she's a professional skier. Yeah, I've skied with this crew before and it's always just an, an awesome time. They're hilarious, great sense of humor and can seriously throw down. I watched John Witt throw a backflip yesterday. Then he told me after he's 52 years old. That's pretty cool. It's awesome to see these guys still shredding and pushing themselves and falling and charging and it's it's such a cool crew to be with and it's really inspiring for me. Yesterday was amazing. We flew north of town up past the, the uh, Revelstoke Dam and the sun miraculously poked out of the clouds and we had a few beautiful runs with sunshine, powder. We probably had about 30 centimeters of fresh snow. It was top-notch quality. It was an awesome day. 
I do this just because nothing feels better than those few moments of freedom when you're flying down a slope and the snow is just blowing past your face and I'm so lucky to have access to that on a daily basis, living here and doing what I do. Coming to Selkirk is really like going home. Every time I come here, staying at the Hillcrest, seeing all the guides again, it's, it makes your experience really special and the skiing here is always great. It's always epic. The people are wonderful and everything about the whole experience, you can't ask for much more. One of my favorite things coming to Revelstoke is staying at the Hillcrest Resort. You walk in there, everybody says hi. The food is off the hook. Last night I had lamb, that was some of the best I've ever had. Great wine list, great apres ski with everybody. You know, the bird lands, everybody comes in, has a nice little snack and a cold beer. It really makes the experience great. They just do a fantastic job from the first minute that you pull into the driveway and see the, the Hillcrest Lodge. It's just magical. It's all lit up. Just perfect lodges to house, the, you know, the perfect heli skiing operation that you can find. This is part of my vacation, so coming on a trip with your good friends, heli skiing, you know, it's one of those things that you, that you dream about every second of the day. We have people taking photographs. Everybody's got their cell phones out there, so it's this vacation that you know, stays with you for years and years and years to come. So Doof had quite the shot the other day, and uh, we snuck onto his Facebook page and punked him, and I changed his profile picture, so we're waiting to see the results of that. It should be pretty good. And he was pretty adamant about that picture not getting out there. Oh yeah, he wanted me erasing that picture instantly. Uh, I thought it was the best photo of the trip so far. John Witt, that guy is amazing. He is just such a character, always getting our stoke level to the next peak. And, you know, without him on the trip, I don't know if we'd be laughing as hard, but he definitely keeps things rolling. Man, uh, he is a crazy man. He has a really great sense of humor, but he is, uh, he has no filter whatsoever. <laughs> Well, I've been here almost a week and a half skiing with my friends, and uh, it doesn't get better than that. I mean, you're out, out in the middle of God's country with all your, your close buddies and friends we meet. It's just, just a lot of fun. Well, Desi's just a rock star. I mean, she's a solid skier. She just rips. And she wants to be better all the time, which is great. Desi, Desi rocks. She is such a beautiful skier, and I watch her, and she epitomizes a powerful female athlete. Um, her technique is amazing, and she has a beautiful attitude, and I love skiing with her. She really charges, and she's always looking to challenge herself and get better, and I think that's so cool. I think it's awesome to push yourself no matter what age you're at, and it really keeps you young, and that, that really shines at Desi. The pillow lines yesterday were like a uh, roller coaster ride, soft, fluffy, and just every turn you could send it as big or as little as you want and, and have a wonderful trip down. You're just kind of floating on pillows. You can hit anyone you want. They explode as you hit them, and it's just so much fun. It was true heli ski and deep. I mean, it was perfect snow, perfect conditions. It was so. It was such an awesome way to spend a, a pow day. That's what Revelstoke's classically known for. But then, when the sun comes out, the Alpine is just unbelievable as well. There's never a shortage of anything to ski here.
so it's it's pretty cool to sit up there and be like, three, two, one, here we go. You know, the judges are watching, the clock's ticking down. And yeah, just being as present as possible.